What's up guys, Kyle here again, and today we are taking a look at the Rev G8 Gate. It's great, let's do it. All right guys, hope you're doing great out there today. My name is Kyle, and if this is your first time here at my channel, what I do is I take awesome high gain amplifiers, guitars, speakers, cabinets, overdrives, and gates now. I record them with a simple SM57 setup, and I give you guys the unprocessed audio on your end. So if you're into E-standard thrash riffs, drop C hardcore riffs, and dudes with an insatiable appetite for breakfast sausage, you're in the right place. Consider hitting the like button on your way out and subscribing so you don't miss any more of my stuff. Thanks. All right, guys, so last month, Rev released this gate to the public, and it's gotten a lot of rave reviews in that time. I have to thank them for sending one out for me for free to check out. They didn't even ask me to make a video. They gave me no obligation. They just wanted to know how I liked it. So thank you very much to Rev for allowing me to check this pedal out. The least I can do is make a video on it. Although I don't really know how to make a video for a gate, so I'm gonna do my best. Bear with me here. Now the G8 or the Gate, it's not just a silly name, it kind of fits in with their naming structure of Rev's pedals. The G2, 3, and 4 are all preamp pedals based off the channels of the fabulous Rev Generator 120 here. And the Gate pedal is actually taken directly from the Rev Generator 120 Mark III. There is a built-in Gate on this amp, and they have taken the Gate in here, which is phenomenal. It is absolutely awesome and they have put it into a pedal format, and they have also given you release and hold controls, and they have given you a loop on the pedal for you to put noisy pedals such as overdrives and stuff like that into it. And I personally have found that it works extremely well for just eliminating unwanted noise, especially from pedals in front of your amp. As overdrive pedals and things like that tend to add a lot of noise, you're actually boosting the signal from your guitar into your amp, sometimes even adding clipping, and that can generate a lot of unwanted noise. So this pedal does a great job of getting rid of all that. So for this demo, I decided to use the original Noisemaker, the PV5150. Everybody has always described this amp as a really noisy amp, and while I personally haven't had too many problems with it being all that noisy, I will say that it does generate some noise if you're not careful. And then also, here I have my noisiest guitar. This is a 2016 Gibson Les Paul Traditional with a Wolf Tone Marshall head in the bridge, which is like a hot PAF style pickup. It is not wax potted, and therefore it generates a lot of noise on high gain amps. So it's really hard to kind of keep it under control. So we're gonna see how well this pedal does in a noisy setting. So as always, I'm using an SM57. I've got my Metza Barba cabinet here, and we are actually miking a Redback speaker up today instead of a Vintage 30, because we're not necessarily going for a representation of any sort of amp or pickup or anything. I just wanna show you the capabilities of this, and I figured, let's try a new speaker out. All right, so let's get that amp on. I've got the gain on the amp between two and three, so not super high for a 5150. The gate is on as of right now, and let's see how well this gate does at reducing some noise. So for that portion, you could hear it was cutting off right at the end. There was only a tiny little bit of the uh, feedback from the pickup getting through. Uh, let's turn that threshold up even more. This threshold has a wide range because it even works when it's dialed low. But because this pickup is so noisy, you can hear how noisy it is. It picks up everything. We have to have it dialed really high in order to gate any unwanted noise from the pickup after you stop playing. But it does a really, really good job. I have never been able to use this guitar in a live setting because this pickup feeds back way too badly. My old ISP decimator, there was never a sweet spot where you could get it to where it would actually work on stage. It would just either feed back like crazy or it would choke out my notes. Here, don't have to worry about that. Also, in that clip, I've got my KHDK Ghoul Screamer engaged. So I've got an overdrive on, but check it out. When I turn it off, There's no additional noise, there is no less noise. So, turn it on, turn the gate off. Okay, overdrive is off, now it's on. You immediately get more noise, right? So let's turn the gate off, or let's turn the gate on. 
Let's turn on every single drive on this board. I have four different overdrives on this board, okay? I have four very high output overdrives on right now. No additional noise. Protect your ears for a second. I'm going to turn the gate off and show you how much noise there actually is within the loop of this pedal right now that you're not hearing. So yeah, <laughs> it's, it's ridiculous. It does a really good job at killing any unwanted noise, any unwanted signal at getting through. Uh, let's even turn the gain up on the amp some. Okay, let's turn it up even more. I've got the gain at six out of 10 on a 5150 and a boost in front. This should be generating a ton of noise right now. It gates it immediately, guys, immediately. Sounds like a money mess though. So let's turn that gain back down. And the last thing I wanna kinda draw your attention to is that this gate does not really seem to color my tone in any sort of way. And I read where a couple guys said that uh, they thought that the Rev G8 kinda chopped off some of the high end. I'm not really noticing anything uh, when I engage or disengage this gate. It seems to be very transparent in my opinion. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna play a couple chords and I'm going to see if we can notice any high end disappearing when we have the gate engaged. So here it is with the gate on. Here it is with the gate off. All right, so I personally am not noticing any high end being cut off from the signal. It sounds the same to me, whether the gate is on or off, but uh, you guys let me know down in the comments on your end because everything kind of sounds different under a microphone. So if you guys do hear something, let me know. But overall, the only thing that I haven't really addressed are the hold and release controls on the pedal. I have them both set to minimum because I want that gate to activate and disengage very, very quickly. Now, if you have a different tone that you're going for, or you've got some other effects going on and you want a little bit more leeway and how quickly that gate grabs your signal, those are gonna be the controls that you're gonna wanna play around with. But since I'm a belligerent amateur who only uses an overdrive into a high gain amp and plays power chords, I like them set all the way to minimum. That way everything starts and stops exactly when I want it to. So yeah, guys, overall, this is a great option if you are looking for a new noise gate there are a bunch of offerings on the market right now and I saw a lot of people kind of making snarky comments about, oh, great, another gate, just what we need. Well, you know what? There's a million overdrives out there. There are a million preamp pedals. There are a million delays, reverbs, everything. So I'm not really understanding why people are upset that there is yet another high quality choice for a different effect on the market. It doesn't really make sense to me, but I'm gonna let those people keep on talking while I enjoy this gate for myself. It's gonna stay here on the boost board for quite some time because it does a great job at getting rid of noises that I don't want to come through in my demo. So thanks again to Rev for sending this out for me to check out. If you guys wanna purchase this gate, you can go down in the description of this video and click on my Sweetwater affiliate link for the gate, purchase it. I get a nice little kickback and you guys get an awesome gate. Everybody wins. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you thought down in the comments and I'll meet you down there to talk about it. Kyle here again. We'll see you next time.